Did you guys like that? I made that whole thing by myself. All the sound effects that you heard was produced by Lucky Rabbit Gaming. Yep, me. If you haven't noticed from my previous episodes, every episode I do, I make a segment of sound effects. And I love doing these in the sceneries because it makes the sceneries come alive. And also, it's fun. It's fun to do it. And I love to do it. So, if you love it and enjoy it, I'll make more. And subscribe and like the video. Thank you for all your support. Wow, would you look at that. We're starting off this episode with two defenses finished. And one of the defenses is the cannon to level 21. This defense is maxed out already. I just need to get the other three to be maxed out. And after they are maxed out, we're going to start merging the cannons together. So let's start with this cannon to level 20. Bam! And this cannon to level 19, but I don't have the necessary loot. So I need to go out and farm. Whoa, look at the loot here. 1.8 million loot. I am getting all the gold from this very base. Get the gold down. Should I get that elixir as well? Is it just me or I love the elixir when it's being looted? Alright, we have more storages down here. So, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Let's go! Yeah! That's how you do, do it! it. Alright, let's get rid of the town hall. Of course, it's protected by Invis Tower, which pisses me off, but whatever. Jump spell here. We need to activate the Invis Tower first. Invis Tower is activated. Now, we can freely take down the town hall. No! It's protected by a tornado trap as well? You gotta be joking me! I have only six goblins left. All right, final chance. This is it. This is it, guys. Protect. Protect. Ooh, got it. Got the town hall, and just in time too. The countdown is three, two, one. Dun dun dun! Look at the loot I got. Ooh, we also got the star bonus. Let's go. And now with the loot, I can upgrade my cannon to level 19. I did happen to notice that my laboratory is not busy. So let's do our dragons to level 9. And the apprentice builder. And lastly, I'm going to assign my apprentice builder to my pet house. I keep calling apprentice builder. But it's the Builder's Apprentice. Uh, these name conventions in Clash of Clans does not even make sense. Because we have the Apprentice Warden, right? You would assume the Builder would be Apprentice Builder, right? But no, it's the Builder's Apprentice, apparently. Does not even make any sense to me. They're both Apprentices. So if he is the Builder's Apprentice, then can we change him to the Warden's Apprentice? That would make sense, right? You would think. I have received a YouTube comment in my last Fix That Rush episode. 
Leon here said, "Hey Rabbit, since for Town Hall 17 we are getting the eagle into the town hall, will we need to max it out before Town Hall 17?" And so I replied, "You bring a good point. We might have to max out the eagle in order to merge with the town hall. That changes everything now." So not only do I have to merge my cannons, my archer towers, I also need to max out my ego in order to merge with the town hall to go to town hall seventeen. If I ever plan to, well, obviously I will rush to town hall seventeen. That's the whole point. A new town hall, rush again. <laughs>、uh, should I even rush to town hall seventeen? But I want to see what Town Hall 17 have to offer first. If rushing to Town Hall 17 will give me a possible advantage, I will rush to Town Hall 17, even though I didn't even freaking fix the rush yet. But we're rushing anyways, because you know why? It's for the content. That's why. Oh look at that! I have more people that want to add me. I think these are the people that saw my fix that rush episode. So thank you, Danny. And thank you, Neka. Am I pronouncing it right? I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. And Jimmy, thank you, Jimmy. And now it's time for Clan War. As you can see right now, the enemy clan has already 100% us with 60 stars. So the only way to win is to draw the war. We need to tie with them. And you know me, I hate. Draws, I just hate it because we get half the loot, which I hate. But we have to draw because we are not losing to this clan. All right, there's only two more bases left, and these two bases are mine. So let's get started with number nine, diving in. And apparently, fun fact, these bases are severely rushed. So it's not that entertaining. I know. I'm sorry. But I'm still going to get the 60 stars, okay, for my clan. Here we go. Boop boop. Travel across the land, searching for and why? Oh, I got blown. <laughs> Boom. First invis down. Second invis down. Third invis. I just love watching these super archers shred. Across everything in the base, it's just really fun to watch. Okay, and look at that—we destroyed half the base already. Well, not half, but twenty-eight percent is not bad, all right. And now the main army, the Hydro army, attack! Warden's ability. This is done. Wiped. So, question. Can an RC survive a single target inferno? Yes, one hundred percent. Let's go. Fifty-seven stars. Let's go. The last three stars is this number ten, Saitama. I'm coming for you, Saitama. Who is stronger, you or me? Okay. Even though you claim to be the strongest hero, I am going to one punch you, Saitama. Flying across the land, da -da 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 -da. my archers will shred this entire base until nothing, nothing survives. All right, the king died. Now the queen. Oh, the queen dies as well. Let's go! Kill the dragon, dragon slayer. <gasps> They kill the dragon. My archers earn the title dragon slayer. Cristo Ronaldo, Suey. Simple as that, bro. Yeah. Restore. Let's go. And that concludes the war. Sixty stars to sixty stars. 
a perfect war against an enemy clan that also got in a perfect war. But hey, at least we didn't lose. Although I do want the war win because we could have gotten full loot. But now everyone is getting half the loot, which kind of sucks. But at least we have maintained our streak. Oh, look at this. Our Motai Ultra Tower is about to finish. 50 minutes, 20% training boost, 20% research boost, and 20% builder boost. Well, as you can see, someone desecrated my base. They got 100%. Well, that is the life of a rusher. We got the Motai Ultra Tower. Ooh, this is 1.2 million. This is exactly what I needed. Goblins, go, go, go! Alright, all gold mines are cleared. Goblin! Yes! Let's drop another invis. Down hall, town hall secured. Yes! And then I'm gonna send the rest of my goblins just to get rest of these elixir and dark elixir. And just like magic, we got in all the elixir. Is that enough though? That is not enough. Check that out. 3.5 million gold and 3.7 million elixir. With 33,000 dark elixir. Dang. And since I just got back, we can upgrade our ego to level 4. Since our dark elixir is full, I'm pretty scared. I have nothing to spend it on. So because of that, I'm going to speed up the pet house. He should be done in a few minutes. My diggy is now done. And now to spend my dark elixir on diggy to level 9. And the apprentice builder or builder's apprentice, whatever you want to call it. The pet house. And why the stepping on the diggy? That right there! He's stepping on him! The Builder too! Why are you stepping on the Diggy? And he disappeared again. He reappeared. Okay. It's to waste my gold on the Elixir Storage to level 9. Give me my gems. Only one? What the heck? And there we go. We got the star bonus. Whoa, I got the star bonus. And I need to get it again. Would you look at that? We did it. I keep saying we did it, but I'm doing it. So I don't know. <laughs> uh, I gotta stop saying that. And claim our elixir cart. And in my last video, someone said I wasn't using the clock tower. Here, happy? It's level 2 though, so I don't think it'll make a difference. But I used it. Sped it up. Alright. Should I use it? Sure. On top of that, I use one clock tower potion. Happy? I could use another one. And yeah, another one if you want. <laughs> you want me to use another one? You want me to use another one? There. I use all my clock tower potions. Better be worth it. What am I even upgrading? Oh, right! I'm upgrading my battle copter <laughs> and my elixir storage. That is the reason why the tongues are purple. They drink a lot of elixir. Trust me, I know. I used to train one of these dragons. Hiccup taught me well. Huh. Do you see this stone right here? That's right. I turned it into a movable obstacle. And now for this stone, it is time to turn this into a permanent movable obstacle, if that is what you call it, I don't know. Here, I can move it now. Yay! This will be your buddy. So this is Rocky here, all right? And this is Rocky 2. <laughs> Rocky 2. Ooh, how about I turn this one too? And move this down here. I got it, I got it. Move this here. Move this here, and move this here. Now it's Rocky 3. You're Rocky 1. Well, you're Rocky. And this is Rocky 2, and Rocky 3. A big family. I just made a family of rocks. Can you believe that? In Clash of Clans. 
And we are back with level 19 cannon. Someone destroyed my base again, but that's alright. I'm recovering, slowly but surely. But let's talk about this level 19 cannon because it only needs about 1 million gold. I can do that easily. The gold mines first. Done. One more gold storage right here. Takes down the town hall. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> I invested it! <laughs> Why'd I do that? I'm so dumb. Right, now. You see guys? Strategically placing your invis spells is really important. 1.3 million gold. And that is just enough to upgrade my cannon level 19 to 20. Let's get this thing done. Look at this little guy. It's going to be done in 2 hours and 13 minutes. Can't wait for that. In the meantime, I'm tired of waiting for this dragon to be finished. So we're going to be boosting it. And boosting it. And so prophecy has foretold a level 20 cannon finished. Jump through there. Invis that. Jump through here. Invis that. They go straight to the town hall. Perfect. Invis again. I'm a genius. Town hall down. No! I should have put it at an invis. I'm so dumb. I could be a genius sometimes and dumb the next moment. Another invis. I learned my lesson. There we go. Town hall secured. And it poops another poison bomb. Decent gold. Well, amazing gold. 1.6 million is nothing to be glossed over, okay? And so I return home with the happiness in my heart to upgrade my cannon to level 21! That'll be two days. Okay, cool. Diggy, why the heck are you still sleeping? There. Wake up and smell the coffee. Do you even drink coffee? Give me that gem. Five gems? Let's go! It looks like we have two level 21 cannons. Do you guys know what that means? Yes? We are ready to merge them. Only a whopping 8 million. I can farm that up easily. Okay, hold on. 8 million is actually a lot. And we're going to grab a 2.5 million gold with our ray medals. And with that, it's 5 million. All I have to do is farm 3 million gold. How hard can that possibly be? Ooh, what the heck? 1.9 million on the first search? This is heaven. This is heaven. It was meant to be. Guys, it was meant to be. I was meant to merge that cannon tonight. I swear. Get that gold. We're merging the cannon tonight. Just grab all the gold storage. I love how the wall breaker just directly hit that wall. Oh dear. This this has got to be it was meant to be. It was meant to be. Even the wall breaker responds to me that oh, I'm going to hit directly into the gold storage compartment. Guys. Oh, there he goes again. It was meant to be. I don't know about you guys, but I'm always really bad with wall breakers. But apparently today, my wall breakers are, they love me. And they're doing exactly what I'm telling them to do. We're going to grab the town hall. That's all I need. Secure it. I don't even need the invis. Eh, I use it anyways, whatever. Let's go. Let's get back. We just need a little bit more gold. Alright, clear everything. Please. And now... Go directly into the gold storage. Right? And once you finish the gold storage, you're going to go directly into the dark elixir storage. Yes! It's always about securing the town hall. 
All right, here we go. Delta Squad going in. You saw that? There was two bombs ready to sabotage me, but I secured the town hall. Let's go! And the terror trap was right, right there. The, ter <laughs> the terror trap. All right, we got it. And now I have well over enough. 8.3 million. All right, here we go. The merged cannons. Oh, ricochet cannon, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to merge this cannon right on top of the waterfall. Oh, great, I can't. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Let's be real, let's be real. Um, I did this in the last episode, so I thought it was funny to do it again. But I, w I am going to do it again. I'm going to merge this cannon from afar. These two cannons is going to go from south to north. They're gonna be birds, all right? They're gonna migrate. Three, two, one. Oh! Who caught that? Who caught that? <laughs> Those two cannons went flying. They went flying from south to north. And we got it. And that will be five days and 13 hours. Right there. And obviously this has a space inside, so I'm gonna space it out. Perfect. Now we're going to wait on these two cannons. Oops. I was going to cancel that. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Uh, now we're going to wait on these two cannons right here. So can't wait for that. This cannon in particular will be finishing tomorrow. Seven hours and 45 minutes. If you are a rush player, there will be days when we lose hope. When our defenses seems too weak. Days when our clanmates question our choices. But the day will never come when we abandon our journey to Max. Do you feel